2022 Volkswagen Taos Review, a bigger, better Golf. Volkswagen's decision to kill the base Golf in the US was unexpected at the time. And that meant another headstone in the ever-expanding graveyard of dead cars. So with the lone entry-level option in the VW range being the base Jetta sedan, how are new shoppers supposed to make their way into an affordable, sensible German vehicle with abundant cargo space? Enter the Volkswagen Taos. Although not as tiny as the Golf, the Taos has a similar price tag and just as much equipment out of the box. Plus, it's a crossover, which means additional passenger and cargo space over your traditional hatchback. But while the Taos is a reliable option for shoppers looking specifically for a cheap VW, this class is brimming with better alternatives. The Taos isn't the most affordable, spacious, or even coolest crossover that you can buy today, it falls somewhere in the middle of the pack. In a class that includes subcompacts like the funky Chevrolet Trailblazer and the sleek Mazda CX-30, the Volkswagen Taos is one of the blandest-looking options of the bunch. And it's not that the Taos looks bad, it just mimics every other Volkswagen product from the past few years, only slightly updated. The small crossover wears the brand's signature front fascia and horizontal grille, with a sharper lower bumper detail that helps differentiate it from the larger Tiguan and Atlas, if only slightly. And in the rear, the tapered taillight design once again falls in line with the rest of the VW range. This SE model sports gloss black 18-inch rims, a $395 option, which fit the wheel wells of the small crossover nicely, and this particular car wears a shade of cornflower blue, a no-cost option that looks quite nice. Opting for the SE over the base S model also gives you access to silver-painted roof rails as opposed to traditional black bars. The inside of the Taos is basic, even for this segment, but at least everything feels well put together. There's hard black plastic everywhere you look, with black leather on the steering wheel and shift knob. The SE and above wear VW's Cloudtex faux leather on the seats, which looks good, but it's only available in full black or an uninteresting gray-slash-black two-tone. With most cars that come in under $25,000, you're going to experience some on-road noise, and that's true of the Taos. Wind and tire noise is loud at highway speeds and even at moments around town. The four-cylinder engine is extremely buzzy, too, piercing the cabin if you attempt to depress the gas pedal more than halfway. The suspension is firm but not harsh, absorbing broken pavement well and cruising over smooth asphalt. But the seats themselves leave something to be desired. The faux leather buckets fail to offer enough back support or bolstering. In terms of passenger and cargo space though, the Taos is near the top of the class. The front compartment is open and airy, with 40.7 inches of headroom, only the Ford Bronco Sport is better here. The second row is just as roomy and feels spacious even with two adult passengers back there. The bench could be a bit cushier, but that's a minor complaint. But it's in the cargo department where the tiny Taos truly shines. Behind the second row is 27.9 cubic feet of cargo space, and folding that second row flat gives you access to a capacious 65.2 cubes. No other compact crossover even comes close to that second figure. Opting for the Taos SE gives you access to a crisp 8.0-inch touchscreen display, as opposed to the base 6.5-inch unit. It runs the latest version of VW's MIB3 infotainment system, which is laid out well and easy to use, even while on the move. Navigation comes standard on the larger 8.0-inch touchscreen, as do wired Apple CarPlay and Android Auto connections and wireless smartphone charging. The SE model also sports an 8.0-inch digital instrument cluster that's clear and decently configurable, you can cycle through a few layouts, including one with a central tachometer or one with a basic speed display. But, the SEL model offers a larger 10.3-inch digital cluster at no extra cost that comes with more features, as well as an 8-speaker Beats audio system that delivers a clean, rich sound. From the base S model to the SEL, every version of the Volkswagen Taos uses the same turbocharged 1.5-liter four-cylinder engine. This unit produces 158 horsepower and 184 pound-feet, with power sent to either the front wheels or all four. 
In the case of this test car, for motion delivers power at each corner. The Taos has solid pep off the line with sport mode engaged, offering ample low-end torque and decent stamina higher up in the rev range. Like I mentioned earlier, this isn't the smoothest or quietest powertrain as it powers to 60 miles per hour, but it doesn't feel sluggish either. With all-wheel drive equipped, the Taos uses a 7-speed dual-clutch gearbox as opposed to the traditional 8-speed automatic. At speed, this transmission is crisp and decisive, quick to shift without hesitation. But it exhibits some jerkiness at lower speeds, lurching the Taos forward with just a little bit of pressure on the pedal or not responding quickly enough. The multi-link rear suspension makes the Taos feel moderately composed and relatively easy to fling around. But the steering leaves something to be desired. There's relatively little feedback from the road to your fingertips, and the overly boosted rack makes it hard to determine what the Taos is doing. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.